What is up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Uber Cold Garage. On this week's episode, we're going to be continuing on Zach's Gia. Uh, doing a couple little things. Sorry, this video's kind of more talking than working. But it gives you kind of a good explanation on a couple things that we are doing. Uh, next week's video will be uh, the entire cooling system. So that's the number one question that I get asked. Uh, about the swap is the cooling system stuff so figure I would put it all in one video that way you guys can see the whole process and how everything's routed and stuff like that and if you have any questions you can comment on that video uh, but we'll hop right into this one and hope you guys enjoy so at the end of the last video you noticed uh, I went through and cleaned up and painted underneath the gas tank. Uh, since then I have put the fuel system back in. Uh, went ahead and rewired the brake light switches. Got everything all situated down here. Uh, the brake lines are cleaned up. Steering shaft is painted. Uh, went ahead and ran new aluminum lines up to the master cylinder. Uh, I really hate the way that it was done before so I had some aluminum lines uh, hanging around and they ended up working out perfect so one thing that uh, I am going to do is I'm gonna pull off the steering dampener clean it up uh, it seems to work okay but uh, as you can see here the steering shaft is pretty jacked up um, and then if you go like this you can see the actual tie rod ends are jacked up as well so I'm gonna pop those out uh, I will order new tie rods and then we'll get all this stuff situated under here so pretty much after tie rods everything underneath is Nice and done. Uh, I'm gonna sand down the gas tank, paint it. Uh, it's got, I don't know what they did with all of this, but uh, it's really, really flaky and stuff like that. And you can see it just completely ate through. Uh, the wiring is a mess. So I'm gonna sand down the gas tank, get that painted, put the gas tank back in and then uh, we'll start cleaning up the rest of the inside of the hood start cleaning up wiring get all of this painted looking good uh, i'm gonna go ahead and start installing the radiator as well so we'll get that all situated and starting to look a little bit better so i got the radiator sitting in there uh i'm gonna do something a little bit different with this car than i did with the last car uh, the last car I cut out the entire uh, bottom section of the front apron. This one I'm only I've only cut out just from here to there. So a little bit smaller of an exit, but not too bad. There should be plenty plenty of airflow through there. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build the sheet over the top actually I've been messing with this one I still have a little bit more trimming to do but I'll do that and then what I think I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna shield it down all the way down from here and uh, same on the other side and then what I'm gonna do is probably leave leave the sides open and then uh, I'll do the same thing that I did with mine. Take the vent out, uh, cut the inside of the vent. That way airflow can go in. Uh, I'll probably put a divider in here. That way the fresh air side still works and then this side goes to the radiator. Uh, the horn hole is open on this one as well. So probably leave that open uh, I may may do just like one little vent on each side 
uh, just to bring in just a tiny bit more air. And then I think with this, this side open, it'll let air flow all the way around the radiator instead of, you know, just trying to pull from the tiny vents up front. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. Uh, if it doesn't work, it's easy enough to just make a shield that goes from here to here. That way it's nice and sealed off. So I'm gonna continue with this. I still have to make uh, brackets to hold the radiator where it needs to sit. But other than that, so far looking pretty good. The coolant lines will come down underneath. One will come up into this, the other one will 90 over and go into the lower section. So we'll uh, get this stuff set up and then then I can move on to wiring and cleaning up the rest of the, the underside of the hood. Uh, just noticed there's a dent in that, so I'll have to fix that. Uh, get the dent out and then might do a little tiny bit of body filler on a on that just to smooth it out so we will continue with the radiator I went ahead and sanded down the gas tank uh, got it in uh, self etching primer at the moment so I'm gonna let this dry up a little bit uh, Then I'm gonna paint it, and then I can put it in the car, and then we can start digging into wiring and stuff like that. So then the fuel system will be 100% done. Uh, I didn't necessarily have to paint the gas tank, but it'll make things easier when we uh, do the under the hood later on down the line. So I figured it was something quick and easy that I could, could do to progress the car a little bit. So, got this painted, we'll, uh, we'll get this painted, and then throw it in the car, and uh, we'll keep jamming from there. Alright, so the gas tank's all painted. Uh, it's not perfect. The uh, gas tank was in pretty rough shape. Uh, but looks a lot better than it did nice and clean uh, all black paint you can see there's a whole bunch of dents and uh, a couple pretty good rust spots so I sanded all the rust spots all the way down to bare metal that way the that way it doesn't continue rusting so we'll uh, get this in the car and should be looking pretty good from there Went ahead and got the timing belt all set up, cleaned up uh, all the gears and everything like that. So all those are all nice and clean, they spin freely, uh, nice and smooth, none of them look really bad. Uh, timing belt lined up perfect, got everything all situated. Uh, if you notice the timing marks off, I turned the motor to make sure that nothing was slipping out of its place and everything looks good. So, timing belt's done, now we can put the front cover on. Uh, I had to order a new uh, crank bolt, so the crank pulley will go on, uh, and then I pretty much just have to figure out what I'm gonna do with this uh, heater line. Might pull it out and route it differently since Things have been changed on this motor a little bit, so I'll have to figure that out. But other than that, everything here is looking pretty good. So I'm going to see if I can bolt the front cover on and then uh, maybe try fitting the air conditioning pump and the alternator. See what we got there. Alright guys, so I've been working quite a bit off camera. Uh, just wanted to try and get as much work done as possible. So I'll give you a rundown on what I did. The front cover is just sitting there. Uh, you saw in the last clip, I got the timing belt all set up. Uh, another thing that I did was uh, extended all of the wires for the uh, throttle position sensor. Um, 
what else did I do? I got, I ran the coolant lines for the throttle body. So that one runs down, drops down and around and goes down into uh, the heater bypass. And I also fixed the water jacket or the water heater had uh, the previous person that did this, the heater line that comes off of the back of the manifold, uh, had just cut it off and welded it. Well, it, the system doesn't work that way. You can't just plug off the, the heater side of it because it runs, it bypasses the thermostat, which allows the thermostat to open. So uh, I had to fix that. Uh, it was not easy. Ended up making another piece of pipe the, to slide in, welded a tab on it. That way it kind of bolted back in. It's just like factory. Uh, I actually heated up the uh, water manifold and got it super, super hot and had to pre press fit that pipe into it. So it worked out really good. Uh, trying to think what else I did. So all of that stuff is set up underneath. So this one bypasses that, and then that runs up into the, uh, the top jacket there. This will get a clamp on it, bracket on it to hold it up out of the way. And then the, uh, throttle body water line runs down and around and tags into that as well so so far this is looking pretty good uh, just need to run the main uh, coolant lines underneath the car and start plugging those in and then uh, finish mounting up the radiator and then the coolant system should be pretty close to wrapped up so uh, I have intake parts coming, so I have a new air filter. Uh, I have a new 90 degree elbow that'll actually fit. And uh, the crank bolt is on its way as well. I do believe that I'm going to have to order a alternator because the one that uh, Zach had given me with the box of stuff that uh, went with the car, the alternator, I have no idea what it was off of, but it does not fit at all. So, uh, might have to order a new alternator. And then, uh, the AC compressor will get bolted in and then I'll try and figure that, all that stuff out. Uh, he does want air conditioning in this car, which I don't blame him. You know, Sacramento, California gets pretty hot, uh, up over 100 during the summer. So don't blame him for wanting air conditioning. Uh, other than that, I think we're looking pretty good. I need to order a couple more parts for it. Uh, there was no EGR system with the car, so I have to order all of that stuff. Uh, throttle cable is completely torn up. Uh, the, it's actually missing the entire end. So I gotta order a throttle cable and a couple other little tiny things. But other than that, this car is coming together pretty good. And hopefully we'll get it running here pretty quick. All right, so after talking to the customer about the car, uh, we're gonna paint it and just do the back seat now, uh, get the interior all cleaned up and ready to go. He'll end up doing, uh, interior stuff afterwards. So since we're doing the paint on this car, uh, I asked him if he wanted to keep the rear wing on. He said, go ahead and take it off. Um, what a task that was. <laughs> So somebody had, I don't even know, it looks like some liquid nails, some spray foam insulation. Uh, they had these 
big huge long bolts running through the hood uh, there's a couple inches of bondo everywhere that's all bondo uh, none of it sealed so there's some pretty good rust spots uh, that's where somebody welded a big huge glob in there trying to fix it so I'll have to fix that stuff uh, all this rust down here is pretty bad the uh, the spray foam is incredible so uh, have a little bit of body work to do on this one uh, so you notice the spray foam on the back um, the whole wing was completely filled with spray foam the uh, it probably weighs 30 pounds so this is a fiberglass wing it's actually in pretty darn good shape so I think I might uh, clean it up and set it aside for now uh, the best part about getting that gross head thing off Now the trunk lid stays open without a stick so that made it super super nice uh, don't have to worry about bringing a stick every time you need to open your hood so big improvement there uh, as you can see I got the uh, air conditioning uh, set up right there I still have to bolt the mounts and stuff like that. I'm going to go through and clean the motor here pretty quick. I wanted to get things a little more set up and figure out where everything's going to go uh, before I cleaned it. So now that I know everything's going to go where it's going to go, I'm going to clean up the motor. I'll probably paint the front cover, uh, get that all cleaned up. I got the new air filter today. Uh, the reducing elbow should be here uh, either tomorrow or the next day so that's all good uh, I got the uh, got the O2 sensor in today so that's all in and good to go so we're looking pretty good I'm gonna clean up the engine bay a little bit uh, clean up some wiring I also noticed a minute ago that there are no bulbs in the tail lights which is no big deal bulbs are cheap so uh, you're gonna get a couple more parts in I need to order a few more and then uh, we should be getting pretty darn close and then uh, we'll start doing body work and paint and cleaning the interior cleaning up the wiring harness up front stuff like that but moving right along Alright guys, so that's all I have for you this week. Uh, like I said, sorry that one. This one was uh, kind of quite a bit of talking and not very much work being shown. But uh, it's this was all stuff that, you know, was kind of different and not too important. But, uh, well, all of it's important. It's getting the car going and getting it ready, so... Uh, figure I'd show this video. Next video will be uh, the cooling system, like I said. So look forward to that. Uh, hope to see you guys on the next one. Until then, peace out, guys.